Welcome to this session where I will share with you some insights about HVAC solutions uh, deployed with uh, KNX from the development manufacturing perspective. My name is uh, Jesus Arias. Uh, I work for uh, KNX Association and uh, I assist companies in the IT industry, electronic manufacturing, service providers, utilities to develop KNX uh, solutions. Although this presentation is from the development uh, point of view, I believe system integrators and trainers uh, too can get some insightful information uh, to be used uh, in their daily activities. This is our agenda for today's session. Although a lot has been already said in regards to HVAC uh, in KNX, I would like to start with an overview of the HVAC solutions in the smart home and building market. We will continue with more specific uh, um, information about HVAC in the KNX standard, which is very relevant. Going down in the rabbit hole, we will check the HVAC solutions in KNX and we will finalize with information how to develop HVAC solutions with KNX technology. All right, let's start with the first section, HVAC in the smart home and building market. It goes without saying that HVAC applications are among the most uh, important uh, applications found in homes and buildings because of the impact on the comfort of the occupants and the energy consumption and the maintenance required to keep them in good standing. Uh, that graph uh, that you can see represents the weight of the HVAC in the energy uh, consumption. There are three pillars we can look at. Uh, sustainability, uh, net zero, buildings philosophy, producing what you use, and green building certifications like LEED, Passive House, pay a lot of attention to the HVAC solutions or application. Services, it's crucial monitoring the performance of the HVAC applications, uh, to track the correlation between comfort and energy consumption. Advanced analytics uh, are now offered by utility companies to help users uh, save money. And operation and uh, maintenance, uh, especially in buildings, it's important having the capability uh, to override room control, limit set points, but also for maintenance, uh, where remote maintenance can help keeping HVAC, HVAC systems uh, working uh, properly. Digging a bit more into the sustainability, uh, we can see that active systems play an important role in achieving sustainability. Good insulation is crucial, but a proper active system managing the HVAC is uh, of the same importance. Green building certifications, as mentioned uh, earlier, pay attention to the active systems too. Uh, the graphic shows a strategy from, uh, from lead training to pursue uh, the LEED certification, uh, capture efficiencies of scale, where room controllers and gateways uh, help tremendously. For example, office buildings are not fully occupied at the moment, many of us are working from home, and it's very easy with active systems like KNX to make sure only the right rooms are heated, etc. Not to mention that a proper thermostat is uh, very important to achieve comfort. There is room for potential services, especially in the energy field, where building owners are facing more and more pressure to save energy. And what application can help us uh, to save the, the most, uh, to be the most energy efficient, HVAC. Services are data hungry. Uh, they need loads of data uh, to become effective. So where is the data coming from? Well, data comes from a few devices, like the ones found in the KNX infrastructure, which not only provide sensors of all types, but also actuators that can interact with the systems. KNX is especially strong at room control level, which is cornerstone in the source of data at the, at the user level. From the operation and maintenance point of view, there is an increased demand to offer occupants the control, room level again, 
but also to be able to override the user's control if needed. Another key factor from KNX is that the same sensor can play a, an important role in the energy saving, but also in the operation and maintenance. This translates into savings from the construction uh, point of view. A good example of this duality is DU sensors. They are part of the maintenance, avoiding issues, but they can also become part of services. For example, if DU is present for a number of days, the specialist can be contacted to go and have a look. Okay, that's a uh, whole theory based on practical observation and current facts. Let's now look at how HVAC is present in the KNX standard. Enhanced interoperability, there is a specific volume found in the KNX uh, specifications that deals with application domains. That's the volume seven. The application models are described with function blocks that contain standard data points. This is how devices share uh, data in a standardized way. What's the meaning of this? Uh, for instance, a thermostat can use absolute set point values, for example, 23 Celsius degrees, but it could also use shift values uh, given a baseline increase set point in plus one Celsius degrees. Let's imagine a room thermostat from one manufacturer and a fan coil controller from another manufacturer. They could be using existing standardized data points, yet they could not be able to interwork because they, they use different ones. The purpose of the document uh, 7 slash 19 slash 20 is to make sure that interworking is guaranteed in HVAC devices that are KNX certified. Uh, wireless options, uh, it's not a secret that KNX has been mostly present uh, with twisted pair devices for many years. Luckily, it has been in the market for more than 30 years. But wireless options are growing and KNX RF is a very good option, especially with the new release or the upcoming release of the ETS 6, where KNX RF uh, Multi uh, is supported. KNX RF Multi contains uh, five channels for communication instead of instead of one, which is not the current uh, scenario. So with the ETS 6, you can directly communicate uh, with this type of devices. Additionally, there are other improvements in the KNX specifications that allow KNX RF uh, couplers to behave as segment couplers so that you can extend an existing KNX uh, twisted pair line installation without changing physical addresses and the related work on the ETS. For this reason, KNX RF is an excellent option to be used in HVAC solutions. KNX has been traditionally present at room level, at room controller level for uh, HVAC solutions like thermostats, sensors, but there is also a tendency for native KNX devices to be present at primary system level. For example, direct control over the boiler. This helps to reduce the need of gateways. And again, this translates into savings. Okay, so what, HVAC solutions can be found uh, in KNX. Some of uh, the most prominent examples uh, from top left corner to the right, we have room uh, controllers, either application specific, could be a thermostat that only performs thermostat features, or a multi-application. You can have a, a room controller, a user interface where you can perform actions over the lighting system, over shutters, as well HVAC. This is the most well-known side of KNX uh, devices. Uh, valves, and the, the actual mechanism, is also gaining traction uh, among KNX manufacturers. Uh, this is especially interesting when talking about uh, wireless valves because they can be used in retrofitting, making installation process uh, much easier. The energy is harvested from the dif difference of temperatures between the inlet pipe and the outlet, outlet pipe. 
CANX RF is suitable for these scenarios where very low energy for transmission is required. So I'm referring to uh, CANX RF uh, multi. Fan coil controllers, which are HVAC elements that are present at room level, they can simply switch on and off the inlet pipe valves and switch over the fan speed, or they can include a thermostatic function. So only the on and off heat, cool, mode, and set point are required. Boiler interfaces, already explained, they are considered interfaces because they allow the boiler, which is a standalone uh, system, to communicate with external systems. But there is a direct control over the functions. Air conditioning interfaces, similarly, they, they are interfaces because the air conditioning units already implement their own thermostats. Only the user control variables are required from the outside. It's a big mistake uh, to apply a thermostat control over a conditioning units. These systems already have uh, very advanced uh, thermostats that control their outdoor unit, the compressor behavior, to optimize the inverter technology. If you mess with uh, an external uh, thermostat over the on and off, you are actually making the air, con the air conditioning unit a very inefficient and with the risk of damaging the unit. Sensors like DU sensors used uh, in cooling ceilings to detect moist. Cooling systems tend to create moist due to condensation and uh, DU sensors can calculate the dew point uh, given the current conditions and override the cooling system to avoid moist to occur, which can damage the ceiling. Other sensors like uh, temperature probes used for temperature protection, uh, normally used in underfloor heating systems. It avoids damaging the installation if overheating is detected, again, by overriding the control and switching off or changing the set point. Lastly, room controllers, which are multi-purpose devices, normally for controlling the valves of underfloor heating cooling ceilings with specific HVAC applications. So interested in developing HVAC solutions with KNX? Uh, let me share three ideas uh, with you. An existing product or a, a new product, new device. Uh, let's say you have an existing product, like a thermostat. In a nutshell, you need to care of the following. The KNX connectivity, your product requires a certified physical layer, twisted pair, radio frequency, or a IP plus a certified KNX stack. The good thing is uh, KNX is our uh, platform independent, so you can start any development from scratch. It is also possible using uh, existing certified system components from other providers, which help you to fast track your development. Your application program, this is the key for the well-known interoperability and smooth integration of KNX devices. Uh, whatever the brand they are, uh, you need to develop the application program using the manufacturer tool. Lastly, uh, you can initiate your certification process by registering the device at the Kinect Association. After that, uh, you can approach any test lab and pursue a positive result in the certification test. Then you achieve the certified status for your device. What about existing systems or standalone systems that we already mentioned, um, like a boiler or a geyser? You can develop a device for direct communication with KNX as described before. Uh, for instance, a, a piggyback a KNX board for your existing electronics. But you can also create a, a gateway if your solution already has basic stereo or IP uh, connectivity. The example on the slide, you may have a geyser which already has RS-232 uh, connectivity. You could use an existing OEM gateway from RS-232 to a KNX twisted pair, and you can bring your, your geyser into the uh, control of the KNX installation. Also, uh, new solutions uh, can be designed and deployed uh, from scratch. 
it could be a vertical solution uh, where several de development approaches uh, can be combined, like OEM devices, your own developments, uh, KNX IoT applications, that's the, the client uh, running on an uh, app mode on a uh, web browser that is interacting with uh, the uh, KNX infrastructure. One example, uh, air quality uh, monitoring with advanced artificial intelligence for HVAC. Uh, the development consists of creating a client that connects to KNX installations uh, via KNX IoT third-party API. Your artificial intelligence sits on the cloud and is capable to get data from the KNX installation in real time. So those are three ideas in order to allocate uh, your product or solution into the portfolio of KNX solutions uh, for HVAC. Uh, if you are interested in knowing more, you can always contact me. Also uh, in the presentation slides, you can find uh, the references listed during the presentation. I hope this information is useful. I wish you all the best with your HVAC solutions and please don't hesitate to contact me if you have any question. Thank you very much.